and we are back welcome back to the channel my name is lagging and this is grounded i've got some building supplies up here on my zip line tower because we're going over to the new section of the yard today but i want to make a zip line that'll take us to it and i'm going to make it from the one that we have in the water over there so we need to get some of these building supplies over to our water tower and this is going to blow your mind oh by the way i'm wearing the red ant armor set because we're doing some building to start off today uh, but we got to switch this back out before we go over to the new section of the yard or we're going to die. Yeah, so this might blow your mind if you haven't seen this before, but you can actually just hit the drop button uh, when you're holding stuff next to a zip line and it'll attach it to the zip line so you can get building supplies around really easily like this. Now, the question is, is most of this stuff going to be on the tower when I zip line over there or is it going to fall off into the water? I guess we'll find out in a minute. But here, let's finish attaching this stuff, and away we go. Even if some of it's in the water when we get over here, which probably most of it will be, we'll, we should be able to get it all out of the water. Actually, most of the grass made it. Some, yeah, a lot of the sticks made it. Yeah, some of them are going to be a little bit down below, and some are going to be in the water, I'm guessing. But it's fine. We'll get everything. We'll get it all. So this is the zip line that takes us over to the picnic table area. And I want to go on top of those bricks right there that i'm staring at those stone slabs i don't know if we're tall enough right here i think that we're taller than the stone slabs but i don't think the angle's going to be very good i think it's going to be a really slow ride so i want to improve that we're going to go higher over here so that way we have a better angle so we got to get started building i guess i need to um hmm, let's see how we're going to do this we'll copy this and then we'll throw it right there and maybe put another one on top of it and that should be tall enough and then we will copy the stairs and we'll come around like, uh, okay, hang on, hang on. I know we have to build first. All right, let me get some of the wood. All right, we got a few pieces of wood that made it. I think I sent 16 pieces of wood over and it seems like I have six. Oh, there's the rest of it. Cool. It's all by, there's some by the lily pads. Yeah, we can get all that. That's not going to be hard to get at all. There's probably some more that I'm not seeing somewhere because that still doesn't equal 16. What happened to all the wood? Although, quite honestly, I don't even think I need that many. It's just two and two there. And then I think we can do the stairs now that we built that. Let's see. Can we? Yeah. All right. And then we need grass here. There we go. And put one there. Just drop this off here. We need to get some more grass. All right. So we just need to throw the zip line anchor up here. It's not really a lot of room. Maybe I should do. Hold on. Hold on. We, we got to add more. There's more that needs to be here. About a half floor. That should be just enough room now to get the zip line anchor up here nice and comfortably i need two more blades of grass please tell me i have two more blades of grass on this tower somewhere i do one two boop boop all right cool now we can put it on here much better fits perfectly like a glove there we go uh this needs uh one silk rope check four clay check and then some weed stems which i happen to have right here six of them I believe is what we need and that's exactly how many I have so perfect put it on bam all right so now we just now all we need is to go over there and put an anchor on top of those stones and uh, connect them and we're good we'll have a fast way to get over to the new section of the yard each and every single time okay we are over here now right next to the bees but if we come this way there should be a path that'll lead us up to the yard. We got a mosquito ahead, but that won't be a problem. We'll just wipe him out real quick with our antlion greatsword. There's two. There's one. Hey, guess what? There's none. Thanks. Thanks. Like I was saying, there should be a path over this way, but there's also the home of a pretty nasty wolf spider over here somewhere let's just try not to wake him yeah down in that cave where he's usually at but uh is he home hello hey, i'm gonna get some quartz while he's not here he's got quartz if he comes back while i'm doing this we're gonna have to fight a wolf spider and that's just all there is to it you can never have enough quartz i'm finding out in this game just always grab quartz if you've got the space for it and you've got the time just grab it just grab it you're gonna need it okay right up here this is where we need to go let's see if i can figure out how to get up here though i think we gotta go behind it maybe yeah oh there's a milk molar here hello i love when i find milk molars it's my favorite thing 
they just make the game so much easier. We got to go uh, upgrade today. I've got plenty of milk molars, I think. Just called them Mick Molars instead of Milk Molars. But yeah, we've got five of those and four of those. That's enough to do something. All right, so now that we're here, we want to get up a little higher. So we'll use the roots and we'll come this way and we'll get up on this ledge here. And then there it is, a boulder. And I always carry bombs with me. Never leave home without them. Throw it and run. And then that should be our pathway up to the upper yard but like i said we want we want a faster way we don't have to come over here and do all this jumping every single time how did that lead me anywhere i got no better off than i was a second ago wait maybe the leaf yeah okay hey it's raw science raw science is the welcoming committee to the upper level of the backyard hey we're here but we're not doing anything until we get that zip line anchor place down then we'll come up here and we'll do some exploring. I've got a couple of things I want to do today. We want to get the spicy coltana. We want to kill just enough termites without going into the termite hill so we can make the brand new tier three axe. And I want to see if I can kill a couple of these roly polies as well, but we're not doing that right now because I'm still in my ant armor. Uh, I'm hoping there's some, um, there is, yeah, there's one dandy, there's two dandelions I see. Yeah, we're going to need to do some building. So let me go chop down some of these dandelions so we can get this uh, zipline anchor place down. I'm pretty sure these spicy larvas are susceptible to salt. So maybe that morning star, that salt morning star would have been smart to make. Oh, no, no. Oh boy. Oh no, oh my God. Destroyed. Okay, so as you can tell, those larvae are not like the regular larvae we've been dealing with the whole game. No, these are, these are quite different. They're mean. They're real mean. I did have my red ant armor on, so I switched over to Ladybug for a little more protection. So hopefully we don't get annihilated by them again. But I'm just going to try to ignore them for now. Find these dandelions I was looking for so we can finish our build. All right, I just need six of these. I can only carry five, so we'll have to make one extra trip because I switched back to the Ladybug armor like I was saying. But no big deal. That's better than getting destroyed by a larva within like two seconds. Oh, look at that. Oh, did you see that bug? We're going to have a whole conversation about that little uh, scarab beetle uh, at another time. But man, those things are a pain to kill. But don't worry. I know I know exactly how to do it. But you have to kill those guys. And they are like the hardest thing to kill. They're faster than you are. They're way faster than you are. All right, we're here. So let me see if I can find our... Yeah, there it is right there. So yeah, we can put it right here. This would be great. Uh, let me get the last uh, weed stem and then we'll start building. You know what? I'm smarter than you. I've got a bow and arrow, and I'm not afraid to use it. Yeah. Run. Run. And turn. And shoot. Uh-huh. You ain't so tough now, are you? I brought my friend, Mr. Crossbow. Got you. All right, let's see what these uh, ladybird larvae give up. Uh, they give up bug glue, which is good, because we need some of that. I think we need that to make the roly-poly armor set, I think. Maybe not. But maybe... But also, maybe not. It's going to be a crossbow kind of day. My uh, antlion greatsword's not looking so great. It's about to break, so I got to repair that when we get back home. All right, let's plop this down right about here. I'm going to actually turn it sideways just a little bit. I hope this works. I've got, there's a reason for why I'm doing it this way. But we'll see if it works. Hopefully it does. And then we'll put these on. And put that on, and there we go. All right, so when we're connecting this, we got to make sure we connect it to the right spot. We've got a whole bunch of zipline anchors in this yard. So we want to go for the highest one. That's right there. That's good. Uh, connect. Okay, 40. We need 29 rope. Yeah, we need 29 rope. So boom. And then what I'm hoping we could do also is connect another rope, the platform below it, and zipline back home. Let's see. Yeah, way down there, that one. Connect. Okay. And I need 29, but only have 17 available. So that will be... The way to get back home, and that'll be the one that brings us over here. I did it at an angle. I don't. I, th I was hoping it would connect it over here, so they'd be a little separated. Right, I'm gonna make a couple fuzz on the rocks. This will give us max health bonus and heals as well. So let's make uh, two, three of these. Why not? And maybe some liquid rage as well. So that way, when we fight the roly polies, we kill them a little easier. Hopefully, maybe. Here's the uh, antlion armor that we got yesterday. We're going to grab this. It's going to help us when we're uh, trying to get the spicy coltata. This will give us sizzle protection. So we're just going to go ahead and grab it. All right, let's try out our new zip line. Yeah, you can already tell that's a real steep angle. We should fly on this thing. Really terrifying. 
And we're going kind of fast. It's it's still not as fast as I'd hoped for, but this is great. We don't have to go all the way over to the picnic table, then jump up that wall crack. We don't have to swim across. Nothing's going to bother us way up here. This is a perfect way to get over to the new section of the yard. And we're here, so that was perfect. That worked great. So now we can start with our adventures for the day. We want to get the spicy coltana. So I'm going to go over to that section right now and try to get it. Then we'll come back over here and try to fight some of these um, roly polies. Plus, we got to kill a couple termites too. So it's going to be a busy day. First thing I need to do is chop down a couple of these uh, clover leaves. And we're going to make a lean to in case we die over here, we can respawn over here. We don't have to go back and forth all day long. And I'm going to do it right up here next to this research station. Found a research station. Found it. All right, we'll just put this lean-to over here next to the research station. Why not? And there we go. And set our respawn point. We're good if we die. Which we won't, of course. I also repaired my antlion greatsword so we can chop them up, slice them up, bash them in. It'll be fine. We're going to be just fine. Nothing's going to kill us today. Starting now. Oh, I see it. The barbecue grill. That's where we want to go to find the spicy coltana recipe, which is a katana sword made of coals. Coltana. You get it. You get it. But of course, there's going to be really hot coals over here, which is why we need this antlion armor on. I see some raw science and a mega milk molar. I also see two wolf spiders. Well, I don't like that. I don't like that, but we're going to have to kill them or we can sneak by them or we can kill them. All right, I put my ladybug armor on, plus the mutation that makes me immune to their venom, their poison. So let's just take them out real quick. Yeah! Yeah, you didn't like that. Yeah, welcome to my world. You want some too? Yeah! Yeah! Come. Not today. I run the backyard now. Me. I run it. Give me your venom. I've been using the spider venom to repair my little dagger. Plus, at some point, we should probably make some poison arrows too. Venom arrows. We got 500 raw science, and of course you know what this thing is. Mega milk molar. All right, so I don't see any really hot coals here, so we're good. But that's some nice loot guarded by two wolf spiders. Oh, we're here. I've got my antlion armor back on, so we should be safe from the sizzle that we're about to endure. I also activated the mutation that gives us sizzle protection, but the bar is still going to fill up pretty fast, I imagine. Let's find out. Oh, wow. This is really good. Man. Okay, so we can get this hot coal. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Quick, faster, faster. Uh, grab, grab, grab. We're going to need the coal for the uh, spicy coltana recipe once we find it. Ah, some mint. So we gotta keep dipping in here and trying to get as much coal as we possibly can. I don't know how much the recipe calls for, but while we're right here, it'd be stupid not to get it, so grab it. Got a couple more pieces. Here's one right here. Ooh, this is gonna be a hot spot. A real hot spot. Yeah, got it. Run, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. I went ahead and took off the antlion armor and deactivated the mutation that gives me spicy protection. So I just want you to see how fast the bar fills up without any protection. Okay. Wow. You're screwed. I'm already taking damage. So you need the antlion armor set. And it would help if you also had the mutation. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they weren't playing around when they made this section of the yard. No way. Here, let's get a few more. Come on. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Grab it, grab it, run, 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 run. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Great, we're taking damage. No, we're not. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. All right, I collected uh, 12 coals, so I don't know how much the spicy coltana is going to take. Here, here's another one right here. We'll grab this too. But I want to show you something else that's over here that's really cool. But first, got it. All right, so we're a little damaged right now. You see our health bar? Yeah, you see it. There's this charcoal hot springs right here that has healing powers. If we get in it, just gotta hang out. Watch my health bar start ticking upward. It's slow, kind of like a bandage, but it actually heals you. And what's more is that it actually applies a temporary buff, which you can see right there, and that'll continue to heal you. So you don't have to stay in the water. You just gotta get in the water, get that buff going, and you'll continue to tick up health. 
I'm gonna go back to our lean to because it's about to turn nighttime and I want to turn it back daytime We'll we'll go to sleep and then we'll keep searching around here. Just can't help myself Yeah, did I kill him? I think I got him I was gonna save this for another episode, but we might as well just get him now. This is the scarab beetle Super hard to kill we get a twinkling shell Times three we got three twinkling shells from that scarab beetle now, the thing about the scarab beetles is you get one shot to kill them. Okay, one shot. Because if you hit them and don't do enough damage, they take off like lightning. You cannot catch them. And they just disappear. And you got to wait for them to respawn. So, the key is to have a level 7 bow at least. Uh, the crossbow for me. Level 7. I'm also wearing the crow feather hat. And I've got the crow feather arrows in. And that's enough damage to kill them in one shot. One shot. Which is what you need. But these are super important. We have our weapons up to level 7. We can't go to level 8, and we can't go to level 9, because we need something called, like, I forget what it's called, sparkling globs or something like that. Twinkling globs. Which we can now make because we killed the scarab beetle. They drop the necessary parts for you to make the next glob for your level 8 and your level 9 upgrades, making all your weapons and tools even more powerful than they are now. So those scarabs are only found in this section of the yard. And they're, like I said, they're pretty hard to hunt and I couldn't resist. He was right there. We had to get him. I still have to find the burgle chip that allows me to buy the recipe uh, for those new globs. But those will be in the termite uh, mound or nest, which we'll be doing on another episode. So we'll worry about that another time. All right, we're back over here by the uh, coals and we want to get up on top here. So keep your antlion uh, set of armor on because it's about to get real spicy up here. Just run past everything. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good, right? Oh, there's a mega milk bowler in the grill. Cool. Let's get that. Should start cooling off a little bit up here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's not so hot way up here. Let's get it real quick and get out of here. We go and shopping. We go and shopping. I got so many milk bowlers. That's what we're looking for. The bag of charcoal. This is where you'll find the spicy coltana. You only have to figure out how to get inside of it. So let's look around until we figure out a way in. Well, I found a hole in the bag. Here we go. Let's go on in. Got a mountain of coals, another milk molar, and do I see what I think I see? I believe I do. In all of its glory. Just gotta grab it to get the recipe. There we go, we got the recipe. Spicy coal tana. Now to make this, we're gonna need spicy globs, two of them, which we do have the recipe for that, and that'll require the spicy candy, I'm pretty sure. So that's why it was important we grab some spicy candy so we can make spicy globs. 10 bug gloop, I think I have like four at home, and then five everchar coal chunks. So hopefully we get some more bug goop before we get out of here today. Let's not forget about this thing. Pretty sure that's all that's in this bag of coal. I think we can get out the top here, it looks like. So let's figure this out. Let's see what's on top of the bag. Maybe there's some raw s -s -s science up here. There is some raw science up here. Just gotta hop over to this lantern. And is that a 500? It looks like it. Let me get some more stamina so I don't miss this jump. There we go. Now this area of the backyard is filled with these like caverns. Look at this, look at this. We're not going down there today. So we're going to go over to the termite hill next and we're going to try to coax out a couple of termites. We need to kill enough to make the new axe. And I think we'll be good with termites for the day, but we're going to go inside their nest at some point. Trust me at that. There's a termite king in there we need to kill. Today is all about getting set up because we actually need the axe to progress through the termite hill. So no point really going in there until we have the axe. We've got to get across this giant ravine somehow. I don't know how. I'll figure it out. Maybe we'll just run and we'll jump and we'll float. And hey, no, we'll jump. Oh, it's a giant gardening glove. Check this thing out. It's got some raw science on it. And it also has a pretty important resource. I think this is the lint right here, but we can't get it without it uh, until we get the termite ax. It's a tier three ax required to get the lint. I'm pretty sure we need lint. So we can make the roly-poly armor set. So yeah, so the, the axe is really important for before we progress too much further. 
It's like the first thing you should get when you get over here, really. Got a box of cha-chas here. If I can get up on top of this. Yes, I can. Do anything. Oh, that's an axe for chopping wood. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. And another research station. Nice. So what's cool about finding these two field stations is when we scan later on for... Let me see if I can find it on this list somewhere. Here it is, the twinkling shell. Since they're all up here, and we now have two surveys up here. Yeah, all these red dots are where you'll find the scarab beetles at. So we're good. I think we found the two field stations that this area has to offer. So we can definitely go on a scarab beetle hunt when the time comes there it is the termite hill the log pile we need to go get some termites out of here termites kind of look like ants but they're stronger than the black ants which are stronger than the red ants they're definitely their own thing and they have soldier termites i think is what we'll call them i don't really know where are the term let's see if we can get a couple to come out oh there goes the scarab beetle right there see how fast they are you ain't catching him all right i got the ladybug armor set on i changed it real quick hey termite chill is this a soldier? No, it's just a little one. Don't even think about it, man. No, this is our first time meeting each other. Oh, it is a soldier. So this is one of the soldiers. They doing nothing. I am the parry master. What'd you give me? Termite parts and termite chompers. Chompers are good. We need those for the axe, I think, and the parts. So let's kill a few more of those guys. See if we get a couple more to come out and play. Where'd he come from? Right here, you think? We'll just have to, we're just going to kind of peek in here and see if we get a few more to come out and play with us. Oh, it's dark. This is, this is another reason I don't want to go in here today either. Hey, I need more termites. Yeah, I'm going really far in here. I was hoping there'd be a bunch just kind of by the door, but they're not. Oh, okay. Some raw science. And that's it. We beat the termite hill. Look at that. We did it. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. There's a whole lot of ways to get in and get out of this place. Okay, let's try over. I saw another hole. Maybe we can get some termites. Yeah. Oh, I fell off. I had it, then I dropped it. Here we go. Nailed it. First try. Any termites in here? Well, I hear them. I don't see them, but I hear them. Uh oh, and a big one. Hold on. Hey, one at a time. One at a time. What the heck was that? I hate it here. I got one. Dude, these things move around a lot. They make it kind of hard to get your three-hit combo. This big guy doesn't move too much, but the little ones are running circles around me. All right, cool. Okay, I have enough. I've got the... We needed two termite chompers, three termite parts, and four gloop. I do have, like, three or four more gloop at home, so I definitely have enough to make the termite axe. So we're going to get out of here and not mess with these termites anymore today. And we'll do a separate video on clearing this entire thing out and taking on the Termite King. But now it is time to go take on some good roly-polies. These are not the sickly roly-polies that live over by the trash pile. These are strong. These are good. These are the ones we need in order to make our roly-poly armor. Once once we make the, uh, the axe, we can come back for this lint. So hopefully we'll get that roly-poly armor set at the start of the next video, I'm hoping. But that just depends on one thing. It depends on how well we're going to do against these roly-polies. Well, there he is. I could just stand up here and shoot him with my bow and arrow, but let's not do that. Let's get in there with the antlion sword and chop him up. But I think that actually if you have a tier 3 hammer, which we don't have yet, that's actually the best way of killing these guys. Um, as well as this new beetle you haven't seen yet. Uh, but you will very soon. Yeah, the hammer does good against things with hard shells. But we'll do it with the sword. I'm also going to I'm gonna go ahead and pop some of this liquid rage. To give us more attack damage. So here we go. What do you think of that, big man? Huh? Uh-oh. Don't do it. Okay. Oh, yeah. We are smacking the crap out of him with this liquid rage. And our level 7 mighty sword. Look at that. Look at that. You're dead. You don't even know. Oh, God. I'm going to die. He did so much damage to me just then. One hit from him. 
No, no. Whatever you're doing, don't do it. Okay, he didn't do it. And you're dead. Easy. And we got this, the roly-poly shells. That's what we were missing. We got some more roly-poly parts. And he gave us some more goop, too, which is good. There's two more roly-polies in this section of the yard. And they're right above us. So we need to go up here and get these last two while we're over here. It would be a mistake not to. So let's go get them. Now, the last roly-poly that's up here should be next to this bike. And after we kill it, that'll be all the roly-polies, all the good ones, anyways, that we can kill. And they'll respawn after a day or two in-game. So we can come back and keep farming them as needed. But this is a big step towards getting our roly-poly armor. It's what we really, really, really want. All right, so don't kill me. You're the last one. Don't embarrass me. I haven't gotten any critical hits yet on him. Being a pain. Get out of there. Get, stop doing that. He's healing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We might be in some trouble. Oh, I blocked it. Thank goodness, or we would have died just then. What are you doing? Not this again. Oh my god, we got him. Ooh, I thought he was going to kill me for sure. All right, we ended up getting nine roly-poly shells. And we ended up getting exactly what we needed for the axe. And we ended up getting what we needed for the spicy coltana, I'm pretty sure. So we did pretty good in this section of the backyard so far. Over the next couple of episodes of Grounded, we're going to be diving even further into this section. There's the... Uh, the shed up there we still have to check. We have to clear out the entire uh, termite hill to get the burgle chip and take on the termite king. Plus, there's all those ravines down there that we need to go check. There's a black ox beetle that is really tough. So there's lots to do in this section. So uh, we're going to go back home, though, and craft, hopefully, both the spicy coltana and the new axe. Spicy Coltana, look at this thing. Oh yeah, it's got the spicy damage on it. So things that are weak to spicy are gonna get chopped up even faster now. I think the brood mother's weak to spicy and I think spiders in general are. So we can swap to this when we're killing spiders. It's two handed. So it's gonna take a lot of stamina. And of course the termite ax. And now we can chop up that plant right there with those little balls on it, those spiky balls. And we can also get the lint and we can collect splinters now. So this was an important thing to grab for sure. Okay, milk molar time. We're already maxed out on the uh, five mutations at once. And I don't know if they're going to let us get a sixth or a seventh ever. Um, but right now we are maxed out on that. That's my favorite thing. But I think we should go with stamina and health here. I have six. I need seven if I'm going to do both. So let's go ahead and get health one more. And I guess we'll wait till we find another one and we'll do another one for max stamina. Now, as far as the mega milk molars go, we can increase our stack size to 25. Or we can do our arrows to 29. Or we can do our consumables to 14. Consumables are looking a little weak right now. So let's hit that one time. And then let's also hit our max arrow size to 29. So that'll help make some more space in the backpack when we're stacking stuff. And we even got a little more max health. So those milk molars are awesome. Just realize when you put on the ant armor set, you look kind of like a samurai. So that's pretty cool. But that's going to do it for today's episode of Grounded. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like on it. And as always, it's been your boy Lagging24. And I will see you uh, next time.